In this video, we will understand about area of a cylinder. <coughs> now you would have noticed that a cylinder is something like this. Okay. Now there are two kinds of thing that needs to be noted here. One is total surface area. Okay. And the second one is that curved area. Let's see the curved area first. Now what happens is that if you imagine, if you imagine this particular portion, okay, this particular portion, this is what, this is a cylindrical area. So it moves from here to here, then from here to here, it's, it's actually a circular portion, a circular area which is there. Let me make it with this color. But if you kind of suppose this was wrapped with a paper and you would have cut it this paper and you extend it, this paper would be something like this. Let's say this line is here. So this will be something like this. Once you extend it. So this particular portion of the area, excluding the area on the faces, which is circular, Please know that this is circular in form. It's called the curved area of the cylinder. Basically the rounded portion when covered by a particular paper or any object or color for that matter is called the curved area. Okay. And curved area of a cylinder is given by the formula 2 pi r h where 2 we know what it is, pi is something which you've been seeing, r is the radius of the cylinder, which is this portion, and h is the height of the cylinder. So when you take the area of this particular portion, which if you would have kind of covered this cylinder with, the area of this portion, which is the curved area, comes to 2 pi r h. Now, if you have to find out the total surface area of the cylinder, this will be equal to the curved area plus area of faces. You can call this as faces, which is a circle. And two times the area of the surface is why? Because there are two circles, one on this side and one on the other side. So if you solve this, this comes as two pi r h plus, what is the area of a circle? It's pi r square right and because there are two so you, it is two in this case you can take two pi r as common two is here pi is here in both r is common so you would get h plus r so the total surface area of a cylinder is two pi r multiplied by r plus h whereas if you have to find out the curved area it is two pi r h